In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly gap spark plugs and a few other tips and tricks you might want to know about spark plugs. First thing you want to do is look up in your owner's manual to see what the manufacturer requires as far as a spark plug, gap, and torque settings. A lot of times they say they're pre-gapped, but I never believe them because how do they know what vehicle it's going into? So mine says in the manual anywhere from 24 to 28 thousandths. Do you want a bigger gap or a smaller gap? Well, here's, here's what a bigger gap does for you. A bigger gap gives you a bigger spark which helps ignition which makes the engine more efficient. Now I'm going for the bigger gap because I want to hear my buddy say, I got so much roof. So let's check this out in slow motion. Yeah, that spark plug's working. The smaller gap gives you more reliability and makes it less susceptible to fouling from oil or if you hit some water or whatever. I like to go with the bigger gap on vehicles that have easy access to spark plugs. And on ones where they're a little tougher to get to, I like to go with the smaller gap because as the electrode wears, the gap gets bigger in between here. So if it's easy to get to, I'm gonna adjust the gap big to get the performance. But if it's difficult to get to, I'm gonna adjust the gap to the smaller to get more reliability and I won't have to mess with it as soon when the gap goes out of adjustment. So that's how I choose what to do. So I've decided to set the gap at 28 thousandths. And it's always better to use the wire than the flat. So I'm just gonna slide the wire in there and it's tight. It doesn't fit through. So I'm gonna take the bending tool. Now if you look at the bending tool, there's one for thicker plugs and smaller plugs. Use this one because it fits in there. You don't want to damage the porcelain while adjusting the gap. Some of these are so small, they're easy to do. I'm gonna stick it in there and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tweak it a little. Ah oh, snap! I just broke a spark plug. That's what you don't want to do. There goes five bucks and another trip to the bike shop. So what do you do when your bending tool is too big for the small spark plugs? Let's let's do a comparison. This is a 14 millimeter plug, a 12 millimeter plug, and a 10 millimeter plug. Usually on the smaller plugs, the bending tool doesn't work or you get what you just saw. Honda 50s and mopeds and stuff use this. And you're, if you look, the bending tool is going to pry on the porcelain and break it and it's fragile. How do you adjust the gap without a bending tool and do it accurately? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to use my, my channel locks. And what I do is I grab it there and I bend it open and recheck the gap and it's pretty good. Okay, so that opens it. How do I close it? Well, the first thing is you never want to bang on, on a spark plug. You can slowly push the electrode closed. It doesn't take a lot and that's how I do it, but I never bang it because you'll crack the porcelain. The trick I like to do is I put a drop of oil on the threads to help remove it next time. Before you put it in there, slip it in the spark plug cap and turn over the engine and see if you have a spark. What you're looking for is a dark blue spark. What the dark blue spark indicates is your ignition system is working properly. If you have that, go ahead and put the spark plug back in the engine. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.